Lindy from Love Crate Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. I'm sharing some pretty wrapping paper ideas today. Today I am joining the DIY mommy for her holiday DIY and decor playlist. I will link to the DIY Mommy's playlist in my description below. There's gonna be a ton of great content and videos posted there, so definitely check out the playlist below for some more inspiration after this video. Every year I do some kind of themed wrapping paper where I try and make all of my presents look cohesive, including the faux presents I wrap up before Christmas. And this year is no different. Except that this year I've been focusing a lot more on eco-friendly alternatives throughout everything in my life. I will be the first to say that I am not an expert when it comes to eco-friendly, sustainable, or zero waste living, but I know that I've been doing my part to try and slowly reduce waste and reduce single-use plastics in our house. So today I wanted to share some ideas for wrapping paper, tape, and gift toppers that all are sustainable and eco-friendly. So I'm gonna dive right into sharing some of the supplies I'm using and let's get started. Because I am a blogger and YouTuber, I am always decorating my tree and my home early and that means usually creating some faux presents that I put under the tree. When I'm doing my faux presents, I usually just use old boxes like this that are recyclable. That way I'm not creating any new waste. And often, even after they're wrapped, I will open them up and put a real present in them right before Christmas and put them back under the tree. My husband and my kids, none of them care what the box looks like. They just care about what's inside. When it comes to wrapping paper, wrapping paper is designed for single use only. And although some people do try to use it multiple times, realistically, you can only use it a couple times before it has to go into the trash. On top of that, most wrapping paper isn't designed to be recycled. A lot of it has dye on it or has a shiny laminated finish, and oftentimes there's non-paper additives like coloring, glitter, or plastics that are added to the wrapping paper that no longer make them recyclable. As an alternative to traditional wrapping paper, I choose to use this brown and black recycled paper, also known as craft paper, that is 100% sustainable and recyclable. There are also great reusable fabric options out there too, but I'm going to use this craft paper today. Another thing that can't be recycled when it comes to wrapping is any of our typical adhesive tapes. Even the paper that has adhesive tape on it can't be recycled. Two really great alternatives are this craft paper tape, which is 100% biodegradable, and washi tape, which is actually made from natural fibers like hemp and bamboo, and again is 100% recyclable. I had never used this craft tape before, so honestly I don't know if there's a better or easier way to make it adhesive, but what I found worked really well was just using a damp sponge and keeping that on hand to soak the paper a little bit as I went to stick it on the package. I started by cutting my tape into the approximate sizes that I needed so I had them ready to go. And sometimes that meant cutting sheets in half or just cutting a square or a small rectangle off. Then I got ready to wrap the present and don't come at me in the comments for my wrapping. I know it's not my strongest skill but here's what I did anyway. When I was ready for one of those pieces of tape I grabbed it put it on my sponge and just tapped it on the sponge so that it soaked up a little bit of the water and then I put it in place on the present and held it down, smoothed it down for a few seconds until it was stuck really nicely. washi tape is a little bit easier to use because you don't have to soak it and you can just use it exactly as you'd use any other adhesive tape. Plus, it comes in a ton of great colors and patterns which can make it a really fun addition to your wrapping paper. A 
Okay, so let's get to the fun part of actually wrapping these gifts. Here are a few of the accessories and things I like to use and experiment with when I'm wrapping. First is this velvet ribbon that I love. It comes in lots of different colors and often comes in bulk. And second is this faux leather cording. I really love both of these for wrapping because they hold up really well and are totally reusable. Next up is greenery. I love to add greenery to my gift wrap, whether faux or real. These ones are faux, but I have used real greenery from our yard before, which is great when you're wrapping something that's going to be opened a little closer to the time you're wrapping it. And finally, there's all kinds of options for things you can use to top your gifts that are reusable including pom-poms, ornaments, little decorations that people can keep afterwards. I particularly love to put ornaments on top because they act as part of the gift as well. They can open it and keep the ornament and I think that's always extra special and looks really cute. Even though I wasn't particularly focused on being eco-friendly in previous years, this is evidence that I was. Basically everything I've used to wrap gifts in previous years has been put back into these bags. These bags come out every year and I use some of the items again and again. So I'm going to definitely pull some more pieces out of here from last year's gift wrap and use them for the gifts I'm wrapping this time around. Wrapping a pretty set of gifts like this is always about trial and error and just trying different things out and seeing what looks good. The main thing I try to do to make sure my gifts look like a cohesive set is to repeat elements at least a couple of times. So if I'm using a leather cording, I'll make sure to use the same one a couple of times. I'll use the same colors in my gift toppers and I'll use the same kind of greenery at least a couple of times. With this larger box, I'm choosing it to use a larger ribbon as well so that it kind of fits the scale proportionally. I'm adding ribbon or cording to all of the gifts I'm doing today because one, it helps keep the entire group of gifts looking cohesive, and two, it adds a little bit more visual interest to the otherwise plain wrapping paper that we're using. The other advantage of something like cording is that you don't always have to attach every piece. You can just tuck it into the ribbon or the cording and usually it will stay put pretty nicely. Then anything that I want to attach that doesn't tuck nicely into the cording can be taped on with the washi tape. If you're curious about that velvet ribbon or the candy cane ornament you can see here that I used as a topper, I made them in this year's Dollar Store Christmas DIY video which I will link up top. And this little mini green wreath is another Dollar Store DIY that I did last year. And one final eco-friendly tip, instead of buying gift tags, why not opt to print your own at home? These gift tags are all available for free on my site which I will link to in the description box below. You can just print them out on paper or cardstock, cut them out at home, and then recycle all of the paper afterwards. Here is how my pretty gift wrapped gifts looked when they were done. I was so happy with them. I think that they all look beautiful individually and as a nice group. You can see that I reused a lot of the same elements and definitely kept with the same color theme to make everything look nice and cohesive. And now you have beautiful gifts to sit under the tree as part of your decorations for the holiday season. If you do choose to use some of these eco-friendly alternatives, don't forget to also tell the people you're gifting to that everything is recyclable or reusable. 
So what did you guys think of the video? I have so much more to learn about reducing waste and being more sustainable. So if you have more suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments. If you liked this video and you liked any of our pretty wrapping paper, I also would love to hear that in the video. Please give this video a thumbs up and as always hit the bell so you don't miss out on future DIY and home decor videos. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.